Lord, there is now a marked increase in vibrant socio-political activism with courage from this change. For example, powerful political figures who were untouchables in the past are now subjects of serious challenges for dishonest and questionable political activities. Fourth, in the realm of the freedom of movement and association, independent, aggressive, fair, and impartial newspaper reporting in the effort to inform, educate, entertain, and persuade all necessary requirements for a functioning democracy have now become the rule rather than the exception. And fifthly, there is an encouraging marked increase in the number of energetic, <coughs> dedicated, determined young Liberians who have acquired and are acquiring postgraduate education in order to challenge the remaining vestiges. Take note, to challenge the remaining vestiges of the past and to seek to perfect our young democratic process. Ladies and gentlemen, reflecting on the foregoing noble achievements, it is deeply disappointing and extremely troubling for me to note the prevailing division and conflict with increasing polarization within our Grand Jury Association, USA, arising from a simple dispute, something that could have been resolved mm -hmm. in our 2009 elections and court action. And why? One, those members who support the results of the elections as declared and the dismissal by the Delaware County Court while the case is on appeal. That's one group. The second group, those members who hold that since the court challenge is still on appeal and that there is no final decision as yet by the Superior Court, then the status quo obtains. That is, the Clay administration, they are saying, must be in charge. Thus, this conflict or contradiction in ideas form the basis for the plan two conventions. Note this, two conventions of members of the Grand Jury Association among crown people who must have two conventions, two administrations. Meanwhile, you all know that court action requires time and money, expensive lawyers, time off from work, and etc. The dispute went to court in November 2000, I mean in June 2009. There is no, no end in sight. The results are uncertain. We don't know what's going to happen. Therefore, we have argued and recommended that as community leaders, board of directors, elders, leaders, it is our private duty and responsibility, no this, it is the duty and responsibility of those who refer to themselves as leaders to get together, carefully look into the allegations that give rise to the court action and confront wrongdoing. Who is wrong? Is it true that these people who come from Syracuse, not members of the association? Are they in default of reg the registration process? Is the election commission wrong for not permitting them to vote? Or are they wrong right? These are critical issues that I believe we should sit down and find out so that these things will not occur in the future. 
That's the recommendation that we are making. The leadership, the board of directors of the, of the Brandon Association of Students for Me did not do this from the beginning. And therefore, we are now caught with this division. You will remember, Eula is divided. Unico of Nimba is divided. Sino is divided. The, the, the Sapo organization Ziva is divided, and others. Now, Grand Jelly County, that is looked upon as one of the major counties in our country, is now divided. Is it not possible for us, for us as leaders to get together and resolve these issues? This is what we are saying. Elsewhere, I want to remind you, we wrote, and some of you have seen these, these, these papers, 